Okay, YouTube, so we are back doing another video. This is a different video. This is not an unboxing video. I'm going to get my light here, shine it this way. So this is not an unboxing. This is a, maybe a repair guide, but this is a Lenovo and this is an idea pad. Okay, so this is a S145 uh, lap. Issue with this laptop is pretty simple. Turn it on and then boom, as you can see, the LCD is smashed. So I've got a client, gave me this laptop, says they want to fix it. And the only way to fix an, a broken LCD is to replace it. You no other way around it. You have to just change the LCD. So this is now my job to remove the LCD, find the part number and order it and uh, get it replaced. So this thing, if you're looking at this thing here, this thing uh, hasn't got any normal sort of frame. It's quite a modern frame, so it hasn't, this is something that you can just remove from the top and uh, didn't see any sort of did little brows and didn't see any sort of straight forward videos on how to remove the frame. But something called years of knowledge. It is pretty simple just to remove the display. So I've just put my nail in and then it's got clips, angle it away and it just comes away like so pretty simple nothing too difficult about it there you go and then that frame just comes away good to keep some nails if you haven't got nails you can use like a, a pick or some sort of tool but yeah there you go it just coming off pretty simple and then the rest of it should theory just come off as well and the bottom I just slid my finger, just the bottom there, just the bottom, slid your finger across, I had some nails there, so I slid my nail across there, and it just cuts through and it is taped, uh, and then this entire piece at the bottom does come away from there, so that. not doing it in shot, which is a bit difficult, so, and then as so, yeah, uh, let me just get that out here, so bottom frame, just clips, unclips, 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 and then this part just unclips from here, unclips from here, and then this is now away. This is your front bezel, as you can see, pretty simple. And finally, shouldn't be too difficult. You've got your screws here, one screw there, one screw in the top of the top corner, bottom screw down here, screw over there, and that's it. And that is pretty simple. Remove the screen, find the part number, and I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and see exactly what it is and then find out okay we get back and uh, the screen is off um so <laughs> one thing i want to discuss here a really really scummy thing come on the go. so i'm going to go ahead and show you this lap of frame as well but down the entire edge so as soon as you move the top screw there's two bottom screws two bottom screws for the actual hinges as well and the actual side uh, the side sort of frame uh, but yeah, it's literally, it's the same sort of glue that you find on iPhone batteries the entire way down, the entire way down, the entire thing was glued. So, a little tip here as well, <laughs> you might end up bending the frame, but I carefully found that it was glued and I slid something, like you can get a blade or something, but I you basically used my nail, I slid my nail down the side of this thing, ever so carefully, removing the part of the screen, removing the part of the screen, careful not to damage the ribbon connector and I successfully removed this the screen is now off let's get a new screen now and the part number on this particular screen that I've got now is this it's a screen made by BOE and uh, the part is in NT156 FHM hyphen N61 version 8.0 so that's the screen that's been used and there's a little part number there as well and see when I'm everything as well but yeah, I have to go out and uh, buy a replacement screen and uh, get this laptop fixed pronto. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video. And if you have got one of these laptops, uh, be careful because this is a really scummy thing. I mean, as people that want to fix their own things, we don't want to be sending these things away and being being charged like a, a fortune uh, by these companies to fix these things. We have the right to repair things. And if you know how to repair these things, it's pretty simple, not too difficult. But you shouldn't be adding some sneaky thing like this because you end up doing more damage to your laptop if you don't know what to do. And you're basically stuck. So, this has been Ace. I hope you enjoyed this video. And this was the Idea Pad S155. 
laptop screen replacement. That's a little quick guide, and hopefully this helps you guys out in the future as well. Like, subscribe as always, this has been Ace. Peace.